Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 4 of exercise 13.2 and the question says a pen stand made of wood is in the shape of a cuboid with 4 conical depressions to hold pens. The dimensions of the cuboid are 15 cm by 10 cm by 3.5 cm. The radius of each of the depression is 0.5 cm and the depth is 1.4 cm. You need to find the volume of the wood in the entire stand. Now first of all, let's imagine how this box will look like. This pen stand will look like this where there are there are four depressions and if I look this like this the four depression will look like look like this and on this the pen is pen is kept. So you need to find the volume of this entire stand. Now obviously when you look at this stand here there will be no wood present because these are depressions means, means these are empty cones. So if you want to find the, comp the volume of this stand that will be the volume of this cuboid minus the volume of these four cones. Now if you want to find the volume of this uh, wood stand that will be equals to the volume of the cuboid which is the complete stand minus these four cones because in these cones there will be no wood present. So the volume of cone and there are four similar cones so that can be multiplied with four and the volume of the cuboid is L length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height minus four multiplied by the volume of the cone is one upon three pi r square h. Here the dimension of the cuboid which are length, breadth, height is given to you as 15, 10 as 3.5 and that will be 15 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 3.5. So this minus this will be 4 multiplied by 1 upon 3 the value of pi is 22 upon 7 and the radius for this cone is given to you as the radius of each of the depression is 0.5 cm. So the radius is 0.5 cm that will be 5 upon 10 multiplied by 5 upon 10. That is r square is 0.5 multiplied by 0.5 and if I remove decimal so I can write 10 in the denominator and the height of the cone is given to you as 1.4 cm. So this will be 1.4 can be written as 14 upon 10. Now if you want to further solve this, this can be cancelled and this will be 15 multiplied by 35 minus 4. Now this can be cancelled two times. Now this can be cancelled two times. 2 can be cancelled with 2. 5 can be cancelled with 2. This 2 can be cancelled 11 times. So this will be 11 multiplied by okay now I can write this as 11 upon this is 3 multiplied by 10. Now further solving this 15 multiplied by 35 is 35 is multiplied by 15 this will be 525 minus this multiplied by this will be 44 upon 
3 multiplied by 10. Now, if you want to solve further this, if you want, now either you can take the LCM or directly you can cancel this out and then you can subtract this value from 5 to 25. And this can be cancelled 3 1 times. So this will be 14.66 but there is a 0 in the denominator so this will become 1.466 and if I have to subtract this I can suppose this as 1.47 now if I can uh, if I subtract this this will be uh, this can be written as 5 25.00 minus 1.47 now if you can uh, easily subtract these two values and this is how you can solve this question if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number and the email address is given below in the description thank you